sign of cancer. My name is Kim and I'm going to do your reading for uh, the quarterly reading. So it's April, May, and June. Thank you for joining me. Um, sending much love and light out to you all. Let's call in your angel spirit guides, higher self, higher power. Let's get messages for cancer for those three months just kind of like an overview each month will um each month will have one line <laughs> so what i'm trying to say april may june and we're gonna start now so let's get messages there for your higher good higher good of cancer only and there's situations and maybe a synopsis of what's going to happen each month, provided the energy stay the same. Of course, we do know decisions and conditions, things like that, the butterfly effect deal. Things can really happen that change and alter energies. So that's really up to you. That's the benefit of knowing what they are and what to expect. So for April for Cancer, wow. And I shuffled and, and the cat, Capricorn had that same position. Wow. <laughs> You've got two cards that Capricorn had. I don't know what's up with that, Cancer. And the never-ending story. Okay. With the fork in the road, there may be a decision left to you in June where you're going to really want to decide... Uh, like, look, the same thing keeps happening. There's some kind of karmic wheel that's spinning right here in the beginning. And luck is great. You've got the money. Now something else doesn't fit. Something that did fit before when things maybe weren't right is not fitting this time. Something's just going around and around and around. And she looks very frustrated, doesn't she? All right, let's add to this. Let's get the energy cards and add to this. And then we're going to do a, a row of tarot in each. So for Cancer, for our Cancers, let's see, what do we have? Well, here's one automatically. I'm getting contract, and I got that right at Treasure Island. April, appreciation. Well, that's a good sign. When you get the appreciation card, you really know. Either you need to, you know amp up the appreciation to spirit and yourself, self-compassion, self-love, or this is really like, hey, you're getting some great luck, some good things are coming into your life, show appreciation and more will come in for you. Something about this contract is going to bring in lots of money for you in um, May. I don't know if this is start of a new job, whatever it is, when you see the contract card, it involves money, so make sure you're reading in between the lines and every word in that contract. Something that you feel like you can't get out of, and, and I'm telling you, it has to do with this never-ending story. It might be around and around with a certain character in your life. Um, let me get some tarot for you with the face card for cancer. Ooh, immediately come out. What do we have? All right, the hermit, feeling a little lonely. Um, going inside. Yes, going inside. Maybe you're feeling like maybe a little bit loss or regret because of somebody moving away, or you maybe have moved away by April. Something that's happened, maybe with a Virgo. Something was just faded though. I think that's why those two cards have come out there is not to feel this way. Something was fated to happen like that. And like I said, this treasure island, this plenty and abundance land of prosperity comes into your life. Let's get some tarot on that. Nice, four of wands, celebration, milestones met, personal goals met. Maybe a marriage. Queen of Wands, needing to be bold and risky, taking a chance, move boldly moving forward somewhere. Maybe a, a fire sign too, but this person is very bold. This is about defending yourself. There's something that, yeah, we're going to have to defend ourselves with this. And I'm telling you, we might might even be needing to defend our money at this point. Never ending and all tied up. Let's see what that's about for Cancer for June. The Empress.
the new journey. Kind of like you can't move. The Empress, the mother-like energy, somebody that really starts stuff that gets going. The new beginning energy. It's not really, it's a little naive thinking that everything's going to be sunshiny, but at the same time, it's asking you to take a leap of faith. Whatever you touch is like got the Midas touch with, with the uh, Empress. All right, Cancer, what's the other one? King of Cups on the bottom, so make sure your emotions are in balance during these times. Something that you, we really need to make sure we're paying attention to our emotions. Maybe how they affect others and how they're affecting ourselves. And maybe we can have more control over certain things. Definitely going to invest in something. All right. So, something that was particularly painful to go through. And it, and it may regard somebody holding tight to something greedily and not allowing you to have access with this four pentacles. Or in another deck, I have this as building up to your investment and having some kind of power. But then I have the chariot right here, it goes in this order, the 10 of swords and the moon in reverse. So, the moon in reverse is about things that are going to be made known to us. They're not a secret. These are things that we either know about or or maybe even, I'm almost thinking like things that once were hidden are not hidden anymore. It leads to a lot of sadness. It leads to what this feeling of is betrayal with this all tied up and never ending. This is feeling like you just can't move from a situation. In the chariot, this is either about a trip or travel, or it's about how you're going to be on, you know, in the vehicle to your success, your victory. Let's get some, um, let's get some clarifying cards on these harder ones to figure out why they're even here. All right, so let's get a card first on this Five of Cups, on the Five of Cups to clarify. Five of Cups. To clarify, Five of Cups. Right on it. Jumped right on it, too. That's a good sign that it's actually really good resonation there. Oh, okay. Arguing. Fighting. Over money. Over a money situation. Over somebody leaving, maybe, for a money opportunity. There may be some regret after going after this money. But nonetheless, it comes in... There's just some arguing and regrets around it. I don't really know why. So let's go further. Let's um, let's clarify what this contract is about. What's the contract about? Hmm. Contract is feeling like you don't have enough. There's something where a person feels like they just don't have enough. And and maybe, you know, maybe that treasure island is is there because there may be a contract to help uh, you or someone else out from this feeling of, it's like a feeling of apathy and that might be within the contract with whoever you're doing, dealing with. Let's look again, um, go a little deeper for four of cups. Oh, okay. All right. So, this is something about how you left a situation in April. You leave a situation. You want to become independent. And there's Leo. And you want to become independent. And you want to get over this bored, stagnant energy of not really having much concern for other people, feeling kind of apathetic, but you're successful and you're great. There's something that needs to be balanced out though. This is the feeling of like, I don't have enough, but then you, you, this is the result from it. So you want the contrast and that is the result from it is becoming really independent. May have to do with that Leo or that might indicate that it took a lot of courage and it was faded, so don't feel, don't, f this was like in the stars. This was meant for you to do, so don't feel bad about this situation. 
even though I don't know, it might be inevitable for you. Let's look at um, well, defending ourselves. Would That's kind of obvious. Queen of Wands was about being bold. Let's look at this never-ending story and all tied up. Okay, okay, we're waiting for something. Maybe we're waiting for this decision. We're also waiting for the fruits of our labors to really, really pay off the way that we're wanting it to. And the Page of Swords. We may be having a child air sign or it might be a never ending story to either needing information or somebody spying on someone. Seven of Pentacles, yeah, waiting for what you've been working on to come through. The hangman, feeling like there was a lot of self-sacrifice involved in this journey. I'm almost feeling like with the moon that way, that um, this might be like, no more secrets with this Empress energy. There's a new beginning with this Empress energy, where in the past there might have been some betrayal. They are investing time and money into something and building something up towards the victory. This is good. Let's see. Ten of Swords. Hmm. Eight of Pentacles. Working on something. And it may have to do... With something with the authority system, I'm thinking like, it, well, it could be a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Let me not say that, but there could have been a situation or where at one time with this betrayal, maybe the reason that this person, that you felt betrayed about this person, or this person might be you, that others might have felt betrayed by you, is because way back, before this brand new beginning and leap of faith and good things, we had feeling really hurt and betrayed by this person going off and trying to pursue this thing. And um, it kind of, it nicks the rules, the regulations rules. It broke some of those things too. All right, let's get the tea leaves, let's move on, and we're gonna call this a reading. This is pretty, pretty detailed. We have dark man, dealings or relationship with a man with dark complexion or dark hair. Broom, new home, new attitude, that's coming in May. Bull, do not back down from the opposition, show strength and fortitude. That's talking about that seven of wands, the defensive energy. Rabbit, too much concern with sexual matters. It might be fertility at, at that point because I don't necessarily go with that too much concern. And then crown, honor and respect will come to you. Yeah, because we're putting this stuff in the past. We're moving on from that. Honor and respect will come for you or to you from what you have built. All right, Cancer, thank you for joining me and sending you much love.